Hello everyone and welcome to another data search tutorial with Learn at NoStar. There have been many requests and comments asking us to do a session on data search architecture. So today in this tutorial we are going to walk you through the data search architecture which is more correctly the IBM Infosphere Information Server architecture because data search is just a part of the whole suite. So when we talk about the architecture it is the Information server architecture is a unified and a service oriented architecture. Unified in terms of all these layers which are part of the architecture provide a unified interface and service oriented architecture means that all these uh, capabilities of the information server suite can be or are available as services which can be reused across applications. So this is what is meant by unified and service oriented architecture. Now there are mainly five layers in the architecture. You have the unified user interface layer, the common services layer, the unified parallel processing layer, the unified metadata layer, and then finally the common connectivity layer. So starting with the most important part of the whole architecture, which is the unified parallel processing. So as the name suggests, this is the engine, the engine capabilities, the parallel processing capabilities and the partitioning capabilities. So this is the base or the core on which the whole functioning of the suite is dependent. Um, the data, the information server or the Infosphere engine provides the capabilities for the different components like the information services analyzer whose main function is to analyze the data. It provides capabilities for quality stage where you are creating quality rules. It provides the processing power for trans generating various transformations through the data stage component of it. So these are the various capabilities of the processing engine that data that information server has. The next layer is the unified metadata layer. So your processing is taken care by the unified parallel processing layer. Then you come to the unified metadata layer. Now there are two types of metadata and all this metadata information is shared across the different components. So there is design metadata. Design metadata is basically your runtime metadata when you uh, perform. It's more dynamic uh, because it changes. Okay, it's, it's more runtime. Um, the operational metadata is basically all your information related to audit, to uh, logging, the job logging information, the job statistics, and so on. All this metadata is stored uh, in standard databases which are provided with information server itself. Most of the time it is going to be DB2 because it's an IBM product, but other databases are also available. And the whole application framework is based on J2EE. Okay, now moving on to common connectivity. This is pretty easy to understand, which basically says because Data Sage in itself is an integration tool, the information server itself is a suite of components that provide integration, data integration capabilities. So therefore, it is obvious that it should have connectivity to all kinds of source data, which might be structured data like your relational databases where the data is stored in tables, which could be unstructured data like the data coming from web that is unstructured data it could be in form of various applications so third-party applications like Siebel and other applications so you don't have direct uh, connectors or uh, functions available within the suite but you can install various packs uh, for connectivity to these third-party applications then you can also connect to mainframe so connectivity to all these different kind of sources is available and again this is common connectivity once you create the connectors to any of the components of the suite they can be used by the other components as well so if you create something in data stage you create a connector stage it can be used in quality stage and other components as well 
Now the third layer to talk about is the common services. So all the components are served by these common service layer. They are metadata services, which are basically allow the metadata to be shared between the different components. There is a service deployment layer that would help in, serve, in deployment of your various functions that you create. Security services and logging and reporting services are more on the administrative side. So if there are new users to be created, their access and other what kind of logging you want what are, are the um, what kind of statistics you want to store all these will be handled by the security and logging and reporting services what kind of reports you need um, so again these services provide their outputs to all the components now the last layer which we basically deal with most of the time is the user interface layer it's also a unified user interface layer so if you need to do any administrative tasks like creating a new project or creating new users you have different uh, consoles available so you have a web interface available for administrative purposes as well that can help you to uh, perform administrative tasks for all the different components in this suite there are you have your development interfaces like which you actually install on your local machines and there are different analysis interfaces like analyzer and so on so whatever is provided in these different layers in the architecture the main point is that it can all it is all unified and can be shared across um, all the different uh, components of the suite now in addition to this it is also called to be a tier based architecture wherein you have different tiers so tiers when we talk about those are the client tier the service tier the repository tier and the engine tier and there's also microservices tier so client tier is all um, obviously the components that we install on our local machine so the data sage client is a part of your client tier the services tier is um, basically it provides application services your common services product based services to various applications um, the web sphere application server is where all these kind of services logging services and security services are hosted uh, the third tier is your engine tier engine tier obviously is the core tier where all the processing capabilities are based upon and then you have the repository tier repository basically is your metadata that can be shared between the different components and then there is also microservices tier uh, that is available uh, so we do not deal with that in day-to-day -day life um, but that is also one part of the tier so this is basically the overview of the architecture there are more details available on this architecture on the ibm website itself so i have provided a link below uh, to that so you can go through it if you need more details but as data sage developers um, the understanding of an overview of the architecture should be enough even if it is asked as an interview question or for your own understanding <laughs> So we hope that you found this video useful and you liked it and if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be posting more useful content very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.